Learn at home with the Pre-K Interactive Teaching Tool. Hello. We know many of you are navigating the unfamiliar waters of e-learning with your students. This can be especially challenging when working with younger students who are not well versed in technology. We are here to support you and are going to take a look at how you can use PreKit, our preschool interactive teaching tool, for both live virtual instruction and for at-home parent-led instruction. First, be sure that you have created a free account for PreKit and that you also direct your parents to do the same. Visit the LW Tiers website, it's just lwtiers.com, and click on the distance learning resources to sign up. You can see the Pre-K Interactive Teaching tool right at the top of the page and select Create an Account. Now, let's take a look at some ways you can use pre -Kit to support your virtual instruction via a platform like Zoom or something similar. If you're working with students live and having them join in so you can interact with them, one of the great tools built into PreKit are our Mapman storybooks. If you click on the menu, which pops out on the left-hand side, you'll see the Mapman books are available right here, and we have four different options to choose from. Mapman hats, Mapman on the go, Mapman opposites, and Mapman shapes. Each book is fully digitized, so you can flip through the pages and read along with the students. In addition, you'll notice an audio button in the right-hand corner, and that allows you to actually play our audio rather than reading the book yourself. This is a great way to interact with your students because you can conduct story time just like you would in the classroom, but without having to hold a book up to a camera and it's a lot easier for students to see and follow along with the pictures. You can also encourage families to do the same at home with the Mapman books, because once you turn the audio on, all you need to do is click the arrow button and it will continue to read for you as you go through the book. Another option for live virtual instruction is going to be utilizing our activity books. In this case, you can flip over to the I Know My Numbers activity book. Now, if you're working live with students, simply share your screen and select the appropriate page or the number that you want to work with students on. In this case, we're working on the number seven. So first, you can share your screen with the students and ask them to participate by saying, what number is this, who knows? Try and get students to raise their hands and, of course, ask them which number it is. Verify the number is correct and have them count the seashells with you. If you're using an online teaching platform, switch to your pointer so you can point along to the items with the students as they count. You can even work a little bit on letter recognition by talking about the word seven and going through the letters S-E-V-E-N. You can switch back to your camera and then show the students how to form the letter seven in the air. So for example, you may wanna pick up a ball or another object you have around the house and then show students how to start at the top left corner, draw the line across, diagonal down, then have them model that with you. And if they do have webcams and can share, you can make sure that students are doing it correctly and praise those students who are to give them a little bit of extra recognition. We also wanna continue working on letter recognition, which is so key for pre-K. So one of the ways you can do this is through our apps. In this case, we would go to our Wood Pieces app, which utilizes our Wood Piece activity we normally do in person, but virtually. Let's grab the letter E, for example. With the Wood Pieces app, it's going to present you with the blue mat that we utilize, the smiley faces in the upper left-hand corner to give students a starting point. And then it's going to provide the Wood Pieces. First, you'll notice that the Wood Pieces app walks students through how to actually build the letters. Then, once the letter has been built, it provides the appropriate pieces. Now, the audio does play, and it lets the students know through 
audio cues, how to build that letter. So you can choose to share your computer audio with them or simply turn off the computer audio and you can verbalize it as the letters pop up on the screen and the different pieces pop up. Then once you've done that, ask the students how they would build the letter. Make them tell you, first we do the big line down, then drop that onto our mat. Then they'll tell you the little line across. And it clicks into place, little line across the middle, little line across the bottom. Now we've built the letter E. We can go back and do that several times, asking different students to help us throughout the process. This is also an activity that students can do at home with their families. Parents using Pre-Kit can launch the tool and load the Wood Pieces activity, and students are able to then select letters and build them. It's going to provide those visual cues and verbal instructions so they know what to do, although we do recommend having the parents stay with the students to help them as they navigate and start learning how to utilize the mouse um, to build the specific Wood Pieces. Now we know many of your families may not be able to join in for virtual learning or you may not be able to conduct live instruction. If that's the case, the first thing you want to do after instructing your parents to sign up for a free account is direct them to the teacher's guide. You'll go into the multi-sensory le lessons section and you can direct them to a specific lesson that they can conduct at home in order to work with their students. Let's go ahead and choose a specific letter we might want to work with. In this case, we're going to pick the letter R. Now you'll notice it does break down different areas and things that we're going to focus on. And as the students flip through or the parents flip through, we'll have different activities and units and lessons that they can do with their students. We do provide options for what materials are going to be needed, what we're learning for the day, what vocabulary is necessary, and then the actual activity itself that you want the parents to complete with the students. So if they're unfamiliar about how to teach students something specific, or they need a little bit more guidance in order to walk them through, make sure you point them to the teacher's guide and give them some suggestions for which lessons to go to. Reference the page number to be specific, of course, to help them out. Parents will also notice that we have digital resources on the side. These are all related to the specific activities for the day, like the wood pieces activity for the letter R, similar to what we just did with letter E, music in the form of our syllable sound off song, and a click away, which is going to actually give them a principal resource that they can utilize. In this case, it's our wood pieces letter chart that shows how to form the letters using the wood pieces. Parents may not have wood pieces at home. That's okay. They can actually use home objects to form these letters. So all you need are a big line, a little line, a big curve, and a little curve. Parents can definitely get creative. They may have a ruler at home, which can serve as the big line. They can use pencils or other similar objects to serve as the little lines. For the big curves and the little curves, they can cut those out of construction paper if they need to, or again, look for toys or objects that have that shape so that the students can build the letters. Another suggestion for your parents at home is going to be to use our number story videos, which can be found in our resources section. Once you go to resources, you wanna choose the specific resource type. And in this case, go to our teaching videos. Teaching videos are going to supplement you since you're not physically there for the students. So for example, we can grab number story two. This is gonna be a short animated video with one of our instructors who walks through how to draw the specific number, in this case, using our small chalkboard, and they're giving the verbal instructions to the process for drawing. So encourage parents to show the video once or twice for students and then model that with them. Again, how to draw that number on the page. Then they can have their students practice at home on construction paper or other resources that they have available. 
If you sent home the workbook, you can also have them utilize the workbook as well for practice. Also found in our resources section is our collection of music. This one's nice and easy because you just play the song and let the kids have fun and dance to it. But encourage parents to open up our music section and direct them to specific songs that you've either used in the classroom or that relate to certain things that you want them to be focusing on. And then just play that for the students. It's going to give them something new and fun to listen to that isn't uh, the usual uh, Old McDonald had a farm or other things they may have been playing on repeat for the last three or four days with students. And we do provide the lyrics as well. Uh, there is a page that has the lyrics for everything if parents want to learn them so they can sing along too. The animation section is going to focus more specifically on our letters. So if you want to work with students on lowercase letters, which you may have just been introducing, or you want to recap and review capital letters that you've gone through this year, then specifically tell the parents to go to a, an animation video for that letter. In this case, we've got our capital T, and similar to our letter stories, we're going to have visuals that go over how to form the letter. Now for our letter stories, they usually start with an animal or a word that also has that specific letter in it. And then Smiley walks us through how to form the letters appropriately. So he'll walk through the big line down and then the little line across the top. And again, these are great reinforcement videos for parents to play at home for students while they're working on this practicing of letters. If you know that students have struggled with them in the past, you can specifically suggest certain letters for certain families as you're working with them and providing them with resources week after week. Finally, we all know kids love to use devices, and so definitely encourage your parents to utilize the apps section. We've already looked at wood pieces, but let's take a look at our Wet Dry Try app. Wet Dry Try uses our chalkboard method in a digital format to practice letter formation. Let's grab the letter F. First, the letter F is going to load, and we're going to hear audio that walks us through how to form the letter F. So we'll see an example that plays. We start at the starting point, which is smiley, big line down, frog jump up, little line across the top, little line across the middle. Perfect. Now it's the student's turn. Now in wet, dry, try, we go through tracing the letter three times. First with a wet item like a sponge. In this case, we have a virtual sponge. Once the students trace it, it will prompt them to utilize our dry method, which is going to be the paper towel. Wet, dry, try will not allow students to move forward if they do something incorrectly. So they'll have to repeat it until they get it correct. When it's all said and done, students will practice the letter three times, once with the sponge, once with the paper towel, and then once with the chalk. Many families will have a chalkboard at home or something similar that they use with their students. If that's the case, have them do the digital version first then try doing the same thing on their own chalkboards now that they've seen how to model and correctly do wet, dry, try. The other option available for the apps is the letter and number formations. Very similar to wet, dry, try, it's going to play a video showing the students how to form the letter and giving those verbal cues or how that works. And then once that's done, the students are able to use the mouse to then draw the letter within the gray block. Parents can set this up for students, have them go through the letter process, and then repeat it multiple times for practice. There are several other resources and activities that are built into Pre-Kit, so feel free to play around with it and take a look at everything and incorporate it into instruction however best suits you. 
If you've gone completely offline and you're only providing paper materials for your students, consider popping over to the A-plus worksheet maker, which is going to allow you to use our extra double wide lines to create different activities for your students. You are able to print these out or save them as PDFs so they can be emailed to families or included in packets that you're sending home on a weekly basis to your students for an additional activity. You can also feel free if you're at the end of the pre-K year, which we're getting pretty close, to take a look at some of our transitional kindergarten and kindergarten resources. The lines are a little bit smaller, but it does give you some other options available that you can utilize with your students for more practice. We hope you'll be able to make use of pre-kit to keep working with your students and helping them to build their fluency, letter recognition, and number recognition while they're still at home. Please let us know if you have any questions. We are always happy to help. Best wishes and happy teaching.